What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I try to upload new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so check back on those days to see what I've uploaded, or just hit that bell icon to be notified when I do upload new videos. If by the end of this video you find yourself enjoying it, please remember to hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It is my small goal to reach at least one new subscriber per video, so please help me be that one new subscriber, and thank you in advance. And also, I am trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this year, so please, please, please help me achieve that goal. But as always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and the information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And welcome to Halo Week here on the Cool Fears channel, guys. Yes, Halo Week. I have two new Halo figures to review, which will be my two figure reviews for this week. And I will wrap it up with a Halo style photo shoot, uh, toy photography shoot on Friday. Um, I am super excited to bring you guys these videos and pics. Um, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. I went to Arizona uh, this uh, the weekend of December 11th through the 15th, I believe. And I was out there for a competition, but of course, you ha you know, I had to go and do some toy hunting while I was out there. Well, I hit up a few Walmarts, I hit up a few Targets. The Walmarts, unfortunately, did not have the uh, Star Wars Black Series Clone Wars figures that I was looking for and I'm still hunting for. Uh, but the Targets did have some of the new Halo Spartan Collection figures. In fact, they had all of them. Um, excuse me. They had Master Chief, the blue one, the red one, and the white one. So... I had already picked up Master Chief, but I went ahead and picked up the white and the red while I was out there. And so today I have for you guys the Spartan Collection Spartan Mark. I believe this is the Mark V. The other one's the Mark VII. Don't quote me. Um, I don't have the box in front of me. But this guy is awesome. This guy is super detailed, super amazing. Uh, just an all around great figure, especially. Uh, to use in Halo toy photography. He goes really well with Master Chief. He doesn't overshadow him. Um, he doesn't, you know, look better than him, but he still brings his, uh, his own style and really holds his own uh, next to Master Chief. So let's go ahead and look at the accessories that he comes with. So first and foremost, he comes with this plasma pistol. So you can see right there, it's very nicely detailed. And on the inside, you have the little peg hole, so you peg it to the side. I love the colors on this. I love the details. But as I stated with the Master Chief, um, the weapons are a little flimsy. This, the plasma pistol is actually pretty firm, uh, but the bigger guns, like the rifles, are a little more flimsy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rifle. Pull it out of his hand. Sorry. Let me take that from you. All right. Now, looking at the rifle, it is very well done. Nice detail all around and a nice shade of green in my opinion as you guys know on this channel by now i do love the color green and it is a very nice sh shade of green it does have the peg hole right there so that you can peg it on his back or his leg um, so overall just a great weapon but as i said if you look at it straight down you do see a curve because it is pretty flimsy so you're not going to break it which is nice but at the same time you don't get that straight gun um, like you would if it was a harder plastic. But all around, it's a great weapon. Very well detailed, very well painted. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Spartan himself. So, here he is, a little up close and personal. Very well done. I love the, the white and black contrast on him or gunmetal in case of the boots. I love the weathering that they added to the boots as well and them look all scuffed up and battle worn. Uh, so just a great figure all around. Here's a look at the back. Um, so if you don't know this the on the Spartan collection, these little side parts of their legs do come out and flip to bring out a hidden peg so that you can peg their weapons to them. And if you don't want it, you just flip it around and put it back in and you have a smooth armored leg. Um, it does come with one on either side and a peg on the back for the larger rifles and weapons. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation and see what he can do. He can actually look up, not that decently, but he can look down pretty decently. 
he can he has a little bit of head tilt right there you go all the way to the right all the way to the left and his arms unlike master chief are not hindered oh um <laughs> pop that right back in are not hindered by the shoulder pad and so you can get a pretty uh, you know high up arm but as you see the joints do tend to pop out if you get stuck on the joints uh, pulling them but uh, they do pop right back in so that's the good part he does come with a double jointed elbow and wrist rotation as well as wrist articulation he has a slight very very slight swivel at the waist no real ab crunch he can kick out that far he can kick out that far he can go back none he does have double knees uh, but this one right here does not want to go I am not going to force it I am not going to break it so and then looking at his ankle you do have the ball rocker joint he can go all the way down there and all the way up there and as well as this toe articulation which I am starting to really enjoy um, you know, especially from the McFarlane DC multiverse figures and whatnot. Um, I'm really, you know, when figures don't come with extra set of hands and certain articulation points at this point, um, it's kind of a letdown <coughs> Black Series Hasbro. But, um, you know, some people or companies are starting to step up their game, which is a great thing. Um, and I'm super glad that these um, Halo figures have definitely stepped up the game actually they've oh hold on got him to stand all right so those are not the only accessories he came with he also came with a set of hands so let's go ahead and take a look at those all right so he comes with one open-handed hand which you can use either to salute or to you know use as a motion forward um, hand he comes with a pair of open gripped hands a pair of gun gripping hands as you can see which he has on right here grip the guns oops get him to stand wow i'm surprised he's standing like that even though he's just completely leaning sideways oh there he goes spoke too soon okay let's lean him there all right and he comes with a pair of fisted hands so you get six or three pairs of hands and a single hand um, for some odd reason, that's just how they're doing these Halo figures. Um, but it is what it is. But like I said, I'm just happy that they gave us an extra set of hands. And I am really happy when a toy company does that now. And it's kind of a disappointment when a toy to company does not. Um, so anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take this guy outside, take some cool pics, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find more over at Cool Figures on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I am your host, Jesse the Bat Magical, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.